The HTC U11 goes live and it's far cooler than we were expecting. Future Apple Watch rumors claim that it will be more designed towards health in mind. And get ready for The Legend of Zelda reaching mobile very soon. I'm Jaime Rivera, recording this video early, editing on a plane, and publishing from a galaxy far, far away. This is Pocketnow Daily. The official news today have to do with Moto and its future lineup as the company hasn't really pulled back about the fact that we've got leaks about everything to expect over the Moto X4. Now we see slides over what the company is planning to do with Ultimate Everything. They're calling Ultimate to absolutely every single one of the experiences that they offer with the lineups in Moto. And so the Moto Z is going to be at the top. The Moto X4 is going to be at the bottom. We see the future Moto G as well, and just how the company is going to be playing the market. Obviously, the most ultimate way for the company to reach anything is for it to launch updates to its phones. We can't wait for that. <laughs> Now let's move the spotlight over to Nintendo. The Nintendo Switch continues to be one of my favorite products of all time. I love playing Zelda Breath of the Wild and it is going to reach mobile very soon. Now for very soon, apparently it's going to happen sometime in 2018. We don't have a final date. We're just wondering exactly how Nintendo plans to innovate with respect to what we saw with Super Mario on iOS and Android, where I'm not gonna lie, it's a cool game. I just I, I find it a little boring after some time. Leave us a comment, tell us what you think and what you'd like to see. Now let's talk about Apple. WWDC is right around the corner and we hear a couple of things that the company is bringing. Number one, trusted sources claim that a narrow bezeled iPad Pro is coming to make things awesome because obviously we have the iPad that's the entry level and that's very aggressively priced and then this Pro is going to be just something completely different. In addition to that, that Siri speaker is definitely going to make an appearance. We just can't wait to see how early these products are going to reach the market. Now a product we're not expecting to be announced at WWDC but it is coming soon as the next generation Apple Watch and according to sources this Apple Watch is going to finally do what Steve Jobs always wanted to do because we know that project was very very early on. The problem was that Apple wasn't really able to make the Apple Watch something that uh, somebody with diabetes can use, for example, something that reliable. I will tell you that Series 2 has one of the most accurate heart rate sensors that I've ever used on a watch. Bear in mind, on a watch. And uh, it seems that this new one will bring a glucose meter for people with diabetes to be able to use it, in addition to other features that are focused on health. And Apple continues to work with companies in order to make this such a reliable source that it would even be approved by doctors. I don't know. We'll keep you posted as soon as we learn more. This Apple Watch might not be launched until later this year. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the HTC U11. It is now official. Yes, I had some time with it earlier last week, and I will tell you this much. It is absolutely everything that HTC needed to do to fix the stain of the U Ultra. This brings the design language of the U, but under the fact that it's the successor to the 10, which is the reason for the name. And everything that it brings is cool. Great specifications, the fact that it finally brings IP67 water and dust resistance. For those of you that are not looking for that tall display that we get on the Galaxy S8 or the LG G6, this is pretty much your conventional smartphone with all the buttons and everything. And that Edge Sense feature is actually something that made me giggle the moment I started using it because I considered it genius. It's the fact that you have a button that's actually not there but is there whenever you need it. I find it to be really cool but it leads me to the question of the day. Obviously, watch our hands-on video of the U11 and tell us in the comments what you think about it. Do you think that this is the phone that HTC needs? In my case, I do believe so. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on Pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.